Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazard of Chess channel and welcome to really one of the most incredible chess games that I found on the official computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL. We have here Stockfish 16 against another top engine Ura Lochka in a beautiful sharp attack in the perch defense and this game that I'll show you today could be maybe even the world record in the computer chess world. The game that you see now is the fastest win by Stockfish 16 ever. The game that you see now only ended in 23 moves in which, as I said, only 23 moves Stockfish needed in order to destroy its opponent. A couple of days ago we have covered also a sharp, sharp game played by the Fish in which Stockfish destroyed its opponent in only 26 moves. Now Stockfish finished the job even earlier in my opinion a really, really an epic game. As I said, I'm not really sure if this is a really a world record by the Stockfish engine and also by some other top engines because we have covered only here on my YouTube chess channel some Stockfish Alpha Zero, Lila Zero, maybe even Dragon Chess games. Um, I'm not sure if maybe there was a game between Fire or Berserk or someone else uh, in which maybe uh, someone beat someone in even a faster way but this is simply the fastest win now by the Stockfish 16 engine and this game is so brutal so sharp so tactical and so amazing but the most important thing about this game it's it's, it's so instructive because you see now the so-called Capablanca attack the so-called Ca Capablanca structure and this Capablanca structure is an amazing attacking formation that I think you should really know if you want to have good attacking chances in your middle game flow if you want to have really good ideas if you want to create good patterns good uh, really really threats in the later stage of the game so pay good attention i think you can really learn many things out of this game because it's simply an amazing amazing instructive attack here by stalker 16 so let's start with the game uh, e4 was the first move by stalker 16 we have the d6 by ura lochka d4 knight you have six and after knight to c3 we have now the perch defense and now uh, with the move e6 um here ura lochka is preparing sometimes this very annoying setup g6 uh, bishop to uh, g7 b6 bishop to b7 but okay stockfish plays simply normal development plays now the move knight to f3 we have now the move h6 preventing maybe something like bishop to g5 bishop to d3 again normal development here by the fish and now bishop to e7 now comes a very interesting move by stockfish a3 I talked about this move, what's about this move, but actually this is a prophylactic move by Stockfish. Stockfish is not allowing uh, this maybe in the later stage of the game, maybe this move bishop to b4 to come because the bishop on b4 could maybe hit the knight on c3 and of course the knight on c3 is controlling further the e4 square because now after move d5, there is immediately in its uh, attention in the center of the board and now Stockfish again doesn't react, keeps the position dynamic in the center, simply plays normal fast development chess is not reacting to any attacks here now by black we have knight takes e4 knight takes e4 bishop to, uh, d takes e4 bishop to e4 and now knife to d7 uh this is a very important move in order to get the knight now on f6 because now black after a couple of trades of pieces in the center of the board is lacking in defenders in front of the king so now look at this after move knight to d7 c3 king side casting and now bishop to c2 and this is now the so-called capa Blanca attack. This is now the so-called Capablanca structure. When you retreat with the bishop, when you try to get the queen on d3, and when your bishop is hitting also this diagonal, this is now this setup that you wanted to get. And we have discussed in one of my basics in chess series videos this Capablanca attack, the Capablanca structure. Here's the video. You can learn, I think, also very important ideas in these types of positions, in these types of attacking formations. So after move bishop to c2, obviously uh, black has to now react somehow immediately. Black has to be now fast. Black has to play really dynamic chess. So that's why c5, play by Uralochka. We have queen to d3, immediately checkmate threat. You have to play now knight to f6 and now stockfish again plays on this fast development really aggressive way plays now a uh, very important move bishop to f4 and you see now okay so far nothing spectacular is going on but after move queen to b6 uh by Uralochka now comes a very important move by the fish and stockfish plays now the beautiful knight to e5 and this move makes many many things first of all this move is useful in our further attacking possibility with the move knight to g4 when knight to g4 happens after four potential maybe knight to g4 the knight will be get uh, will be uh, deflected then from the square h7 and you could deliver checkmate also after move knight to e5 uh 
the problem for black is here that you can never really never lock this diagonal with the move g6 okay you would love of course stop somehow this diagonal but of course immediately knight takes g6 uh here uh, f takes g6 queen to g6 is going to happen so it's not working bishop to h6 bishop to g7 will happen and you're getting destroyed immediately so also the this move knight to e5 is preventing as i said the move g6 obviously also queen to b2 cannot play uh, cannot be played here by Uralochka immediately because this move leads you into a devastating position for black the queen will be trapped and again the game is over so knight to e5 very very nice very nice attacking move by stockfish and here Uralochka played simply c takes d4 but now again a beautiful move here by stockfish 16. stockfish played now the move uh, rook from a to d1 simply getting a new piece into the attack and this move is very important because in some escape routes you see later really why this move rook to d1 is important this rook is competing against the potential rook to d8 move uh, this move rook to d8 can be useful for instance if there is maybe a checkmate threat on h7 and then you play rook to d8 then at least you can escape with your king so but now the move rook to d1 is cutting off the potential path by the king if for instance in some lines black is trying to escape on the queen side so very very tricky tricky ideas again i'm pointing out here uh, queen to b2 is not such a good move because you're leaving now the c7 square unprotected this wasn't played in the game but i wanted to show you maybe if you ask yourself the question what happens if you play queen takes b2 now because obviously the queen cannot be trapped now but it doesn't matter look at this now we play on this pattern knight to g4 you have to play now rook to d8 in order to create uh, this escape route for the uh, for the king and now look at this knight to f6 bishop to f6 queen comes into the game uh, we play bishop to c7 that's why the queen cannot take out the pawn on b2 because the queen gets deflected from the square c7 and now we have this dangerous attack now for instance something like rook to d7 we retreat and now after king to uh, e7 we deliver this annoying check you can of course step back but now look at this again an attack against the queen the queen drops back bishop to b3 everything is pretty much fourth here uh that's why i'm showing you this line i really don't want to complicate things too much but i wanted to show how really deep and sharp and tactical this wild ideas by stockfish are uh here after move bishop to b3 the queen can maybe now escape but now c takes d4 is opening that position okay bishop to uh, d4 but now look at this rook to c1 is cutting off again the escape route for the king and now maybe rook to d1 a check will happen you will eventually maybe take out some of this pawn in my opinion it's a position that you can resign immediately really really wild stuff so you see after move rook from a to d1 uh the issue for black is that you cannot pick up uh here the pawn on b2 because of the potential um lack of defense of uh the square c7 because we saw that the bishop came on c7 in a amazing sharp tactical way so that's why f from rook from, from a to d1 we have a6 here by Uralochka. now rook from f to e1 so stockfish slowly but surely is building this amazing attacking formation we have rook to d8 but we have this competition as i said to move rook to d1 was very very important and now uh when stockfish has the pieces on the optimal square probably you're guessing what's going to happen then there's immediately immediately tactical possibility because in this particular position there's simply no further improvement of any pieces anymore there's simply no further i don't know potential better activity of any of white's pieces so that's why we have reached the maximum activity and when you, when you have reached the maximum activity with your pieces with all of your pieces then the next move is probably a pawn move or it's a sacrifice so it's simple as that that's why uh here after move rook to the uh, rook to d8 stockfish played the amazing bishop to h6 and let's see now what happened uh what happens if you play g takes h6 this wasn't uralochka's continuation but g takes h6 really really amazing position after queen to g3 will deliver a check you are trying trying maybe to escape now to f8 but now queen to f4 we're hitting the pawn on h6 maybe you're trying to get back protecting your pawn but now look at this rook to d3 is of course a, uh, uh, an amazing 
threat with the move rook to g3 you can train maybe rook to h8 to get a new defender uh here into the game trying to defend your pawn on h6 but now of course rook to g3 anyway you step back to f8 but now the stunning and winning move is now the move bishop to g6 after f g6 you get the fork so it's not working you can maybe try to escape here on e8 but now after check then rook to d3 is coming look at this everything is forced here uh, again it's a little bit complicated maybe to follow everything what's going on on the board but this would be really the must uh, really the force tactical sequence here by white rook to d3 you could maybe cover here with knight to d5 but now look at this rook takes d4 you're covering again now rook look at this even a sacrifice is possible you take and now the queen is coming into the game and now uh, we take up the, uh, take the rook here for instance on h8 so it's again i think a position that you can resign immediately especially because of the fact that the d5 pawn is weak we'll get also the pawn on h6 here you have a lack of development on the queen side maybe you can escape with your king somehow but it doesn't matter meanwhile white grab many many pawns the game is over here for uh, black for sure so see after bishop to h6 you cannot uh, here pick up uh, the bishop you have to play something else so in the game d takes c3 was played by uh, the Oralogica Orolo engine we have now a queen to g3 again uh, trying a checkmate here on g7 we have here knight to e8 protecting now the square uh, g7 and now stockfish creates new attacking chances with the move queen to h3 is uh, trying now to get the queen on h5 and then maybe even deliver checkmate here on uh on f7 if you play of course g6 after the move queen to h5 then again we have this tactical shot bishop takes a, a g6 or knight to h6 is of course simply winning the, the game here for white <coughs> pardon me uh here after move queen to h3 we have now the move bishop to f6 by Uralochka, but even if you play, let's see, even if you play something like knight to f6, then look at what, it, what look what happens. Bishop to g7 immediately. After king to g7, now queen to g3. Again, you're trying maybe to escape. Again, we get the queen into the game, and now black should probably play something like rook to d2 in order to defend somehow the d file because you would probably be happy after rook to d2, c takes uh, d2, that the d file is then locked and then you could maybe uh, use some kind of an escape route for a king but this is also not working because white is simply de delivering a check you try to escape with uh, deliver a new check you cover but now after queen to f6 the issue is here that um, now in this particular sequence the knight will be lost on f6 but uh, finally white protects now also the weak f2 square uh, support simply def the defense on, on the square f2 but also creates of course further attacking opportunities here especially around the square f7 so knight to f6 is also not working here if you try uh, g takes h6 now immediately then as we said queen to, uh, sorry after g takes h6 then you get here queen to h5 you can maybe try something like knight to d6 but obviously rook to d6 uh, rook to d6 and uh, queen to f7 then knight to g6 leads into a beautiful checkmate pattern so you see nothing is working here after move queen to h3 we saw now uh, knight to f6 is not working g takes uh, h6 is not working so that's why in this particular position bishop to f6 was played by Uralochka, but now comes a beautiful move bishop to e3 it comes with the tempo we have a rook to d1 rook takes d1 the queen has to now step back and now after move uh, queen to h7 king to f8 uh, uh only one move was uh, only played now in this particular game after that move uh, or the logica immediately immediately resigned maybe you can pause the video and try to see now the winning move here for white so white moves and wins the game so as i said after that move or immediately resigned okay the winning idea is again a stunning tactical shot knight to g6 um let's see what happens you have to play of course f takes g6 this square is taken if you play f takes g6 then bishop to g6 is coming into the game there is now this dangerous check uh, and also with queen to e8 as a possibility so that's why i have to play something like i don't know king to e7 you're trying to escape but now queen to g8 is going to happen with the threat of queen to f7 or queen to uh, e8 so that's why you have to play something like knight to d6 controlling both of the squares but now 
bishop to f4 is this amazing idea you have to unlock this diagonal with the move e5 but now the winning idea is bishop to g5 really really wild stuff look at it so you play of course bishop to g5 but now queen to g7 you have to play something like king to queen to e6 and now we simply pick up the queen the game is over uh, here for for black if you play of course queen to uh, king to d8 then queen to f8 you can cover only um with the, with the move king to d7 now queen to e8 is again an amazing amazing checkmate here by this amazing peace activity so see poo, really really brutal brutal attack here by stockfish 16 let's go back after move 9 to g6 uralochka could have maybe played uh, uh the game further force forcing maybe this whole tactical sequence by but by the rules of the ccr and also in the tcc competition we saw that the engines don't have to play uh the games till the end in the computer chess championships they have to play till it's checkmate in this particular uh, uh tournaments and competitions this ha doesn't have to be like uh, doesn't have to be like this but you see, uh, saw now um the game would have ended after only a couple more moves still after move 9 to g6 it's obviously game over here for black so Pooh, really, really incredible game, really sharp attack again by Stoffer 16. We have to say this wasn't maybe the optimal opening um, that Black played here, but I really wanted to show this game because it has this Capablanca structure, this beautiful attacking formation uh, with this setup. Let's go back when B Bishop on C2 is coming, when you are trying to get the queen on d3 when you have already this bishop targeting uh, the weaknesses in black's position when you have the opportunity to include the knight into the game and you saw also later uh potential rook lifts were also dangerous so this is really an amazing attacking flow really instructive game here by play by stock for 16 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas for sure uh, in this capablanca attack in this capablanca structures if you want to see more epic brutal sharp tactical games like this check out our common chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course